I'm going to turn this paper into having some flangs or fringes. They're going to be curled and we're going to have pleated. So we're going to start with just a straight regular fringe. They'll be called flangs more when you're using them um, um, on structures that are going to stand up. They're going to be more tabs and feet. These, so you're going to cut little strips of paper up to a certain point and stop. You want to keep a foot or some sort of place to tape down or use to make your sculpture with. So you're not cutting all the way to the top and you're cutting a little more than halfway. But you're cutting these little strips all the way up. Now I have this nice little hair or a grass or just this fluffy little fun things you could play with and move around. So now after we have this idea we're going to um, take that same concept where we're cutting but not all the way up, keeping our foot. We're going all the way down the paper. This time we're going to give it a little more effect. We're not going to leave it straight. So we're going to curl our pages that we just cut. We've got this fringe going. I'm going to use the scissor. It has this nice hard edge. If I hold the paper with my fingers and I put the edge on the or the paper on the edge of the scissor, I can pull it and it'll curl. I can grab a pencil and I could take a piece and I could place it on there and then roll it down real tight and that'll give me a little more of a tight curl on it. And so now I have a curl going one way, my scissor going the other. Uh, if I don't want to sit there and do this, you know, 20 times how many cuts I did, um, I could take the whole paper and I can roll it. Now this might be a little easier on the pencil, but I'm just going to do it here on the table, give it a roll, and now all the pieces have a curl to them. We could take one individually and give it a little extra curl, um, so that way it has a little difference, a little texture. Alright, so now um, another way to do this is you could take the whole paper, you can cur just spin it around that pencil, give it a nice tight tube. So now you've curled it around a pencil. All right, so now you can undo it just a little bit so you have that foot, that surface, so that you can glue it to stuff and do things. And then you can give the paper those little cuts all the way down until you go through your little curl you made. All the way down, giving it the fringe. And then you kind of relax those papers just a little bit. Now with the scissor, because you are cutting, it's going to squish the paper and give it a little crimp. So it doesn't have that smooth, rounded curl because the scissors gave it that little pinch. But it still kind of it still has a curl. You're just going to notice there's going to be a little crimp to it. So now pleated. Now instead of pleating it going the horizontal way, we're going to try to get long pleats going up toward that foot that we like to have. So we're going to fold it up just a little bit, and we're going to turn it over, we're going to fold it back, turn it over, fold it up again, turn it over, fold it again, and we're going to do that all the way up until we get that foot that we like. That way we can keep that for gluing and messing around with. We're going to take those scissors and we're going to again cut just through our pleat, giving it the fringe, giving it that texture could turn this into so many things. When it's pleated, it's sharper, right? It has a more stair-like, a more springy-like look to it. So you can kind of relax these out a little bit, and now you have this pleated, crumply look. You could take that fringe you just made, and now since it has the foot, you can give it a curl around if you like. And then that could turn it into a little flower. You could turn it over and then can turn it into a little animal of some sort. And you can also set it right down on those fringe.